Josh, because the Wilder fight was sort of more or less done as, as most of us knew, you weren't really being pestered about what would happen next. You weren't being asked about retirement. But two times in this week, you said, if I don't win Saturday, there's no future. W would that have been the end for you if you hadn't won tonight? Oh, no, not the end. Like, I think it's amazing what Parker done tonight. He came up short against Joe Joyce and he showed resilience. It pays off. Daniel Dubois came up short a few times, showed resilience, it pays off. You should only give up when that competition within yourself, that competitive spirit dies. So for me personally, I ha I'm, a, I'm a fierce competitor. You can ask my pals, like whether it's spelling games, whether it's chess, whatever it may be, Wordle, we all compete with each other. And um, I think that you should always try and find that winning streak again, even if you're coming up short a few times. So now, nah, the win pushes us onto higher heights. That's the great thing about boxing. But if you come short, definitely keep on striving for greatness if you're a competitor. So um, I would have never given up if, if I fell short today. No way. Sherry Abassi for TKO Boxing. Uh, Anthony, first of all, congratulations on the victory. Um, just wanted to ask, we've Sorry, been told- Sorry, I, I can't see. Yes, there you go. <laughs> Sorry. Over the years, we've been told you're quite an inquisitive person. You like to know why, not just do this and do that. Uh, obviously, Ben Davison is known for his IQ and I, And I can't hear properly, sorry. Louder, yep. louder, louder. Loud as you can. Oh, sorry. Um, I was saying Ben Davison's known for his IQ and sort of teaching people the little nuances. Um, how important has that been in this camp to teach you to sort of change a game and find that sort of killer instinct again because tonight we saw you throwing those right hands the, the pull counter all these little things that you've done previously against Southpaws like Charles Martin when you won the world title how important has he been for you this training camp you know what's interesting I think Ben can answer that question a lot better than I can because he's a a vet no, no it's not a veteran because he's still young but he's a, a scholar of the game and when we spoke he saw what, I, what I've been trying to achieve in the business and you know when someone understands you and a light bulb comes on and you just finally get it and that was it so he he still pushed me towards trying to achieve what I'm achieving he hasn't tried to change me he still pushed me towards what I'm trying to achieve but he's done it in a way where because he knows boxing he knows what I'm trying to do and he knows how to get it out of me in a way he, you would have to ask him but I don't want him to say too much because <laughs> <laughs> because uh, it's quite articulate and um, and will give away quite a lot as well but he he switched the light bulb on in me this uh, this training camp and I want to give a thanks to to Ben Heine as well for for pushing me to go down to Harlow and train <laughs> I was like, bro, I'm not going down Harlow, bro. I'm staying at Finchley. <laughs> I was anti, like, I'm staying at Finchley, bro. And uh, we went down there, and I, I, and I appreciate your time as well. It's been a pleasure. Yeah, I appreciate your time. Um, and I'm not going to say too much, but it's been good. It's been good, and I appreciate my team for pushing me in that direction. Thank you so much for watching this video, and make sure to subscribe for more videos of your favorite fighters over here on Fight Up TV, and give us a follow online as well at Fight Up TV, on Twitter, and on Instagram. We appreciate it, guys.